Hi guys, welcome back. So today's video is gonna entail me making a temporary board up for when we do rewires or work in people's houses. This is obviously coming off the back of me doing lots and lots and lots of rewires last year. Hence, when we're turning up, we're turning the power off. If not, we're leaving the power on and you've got the dangers like I've done of drilling through live cables in the floor or the walls, which we obviously actively want to avoid. So by this, we can make a board up. We're gonna be putting a W, this is a spare board I had in the van, uh, a WCD board. Uh, simple RCD protection, 32 amp breaker. It's got a nice little lid on it as a protection. It's an IP rated board. Um, but the purpose of this is we're going to be fitting a piece of plywood. We're going to knock the top out in a little bit for a handle. I'll route the edges so it's a bit smoother. Uh, nice light, light, lightweight board that we've got. We'll be fitting some rounded molded plastic sockets, four of them on, some click ones that we've got in the unit. 25 mil tails, 16 mil earth dual pole, Henley block, um, bush and couplers, bit of conduit. And for the first time ever, I bought a drum of four mil cable. And the reason for this is I don't use four mil. We've said it across the channel several, several times, but time and time again, I'm getting people asking, why aren't you fitting, well, I'm fitting radials, but why aren't you fitting four mil so we can race it up to 32 amp? I've just never really seen the point. I see, yeah, I see the point, but I never really wanted to actively go out there and fit four mil. It's a bit more of a pain in the ass to work with, especially if I'm fitting down in my 20 mil oval conduit, two four mils will not fit at all. So whether or not I can try and find out 25 mil oval conduit. But I've bought some of this, will allow us to do a 32 amp supply to four double sockets. Uh, with the Henley block, it allows me to take off the existing tails if there's a Henley block there extend my cable from my Henley block to their Henley block, or if they have a two pole isolator on their property, we can feed that straight in. We can either secure this to the wall, or leave it propped up against the side so it's secure. Obviously we don't want any cables being pulled out. So I'd always say, screw it back, put some more round bound around the tails, keep them, keep them clean uh, and secure. So that's sort of the process. I'm gonna first of all, mark out where I want stuff on the board and uh, we'll run through the process and see the finished product at the end. Right, so what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna sort of set up my board the way I want it. I'll do it your way. So with this fuse board, I've already put our tails gland in it, which you can see. And now they're going to refuse to come out, even though I already did it. So low level, tails going in. We want our Henley block sitting above it, which I'll feed our tails into. We will conduit straight across into our patrices and then we will do, I'm only doing this as neat as I can. We'll measure it out the correct length. We have bushing couplers to go in. We might end up spacing off quite a lot if you're backing them onto them. So that will be our spacing. And then I have bought an earth block as well. No, they're not. We want to just put that in there if there's anything else we want to wire into the, to an earth uh, block because there's obviously limited room what we've got in here. So we're sort of getting the positions and a handle. Handle wise, it's 400. I do it near the top. And I think I've got a 32 mil hole saw, which is here. We'll just cut side by side. I get a jigsaw, bring it across. We'll just route the edges to take the sharp edges off because it is ply and it just chip. And, uh, we can give this a go, but that's the sort of the rough, rough lookings I want, but I'll, I'll prep the board up first, I'll cut the hole out, we'll jig that out, neaten the edges off, and then we can start attaching stuff. But the main thing is gonna be the fuse board first. We wanna line up if we're cutting 20 mil holes for our bush and couplers, wherever they are, from side to side. We need to make sure they're lining up and going to the correct entry point because with this fuse board, there's a lot of stuff in the way. And as well, I don't understand, they've got blue for neutral, but then we've got a blue bar as well here, which is our earth bar. Uh, but we will only be using the 32 amp. I might just take the six amp out and blank it off. Uh, made a bit of a hash of that, but better than it was. We've got a handle. Right, so what I'm gonna do first for the Henley block, do my knockouts, insert them. I feed my tails into this, then I can just get a rough measurement by holding it to it, snip it straight, 
We can feed these in together, leave these a bit loose for now, because as well, when I want to do my 20 mil hole in the side for our bush and coupler, we're going to want it off the board so we can actually get the drill bit in properly. So I'll get these bits in and we'll run through to the next part. So now we've got that in, we can sort of get a rough measurement of what we want to do with our tails. I'm going to put the Henley block here, stick them off there. Brought some new CK cutters and they're a bit stiff. I give them a quick whiz up. Obviously we can go around with a torque screwdriver afterwards and get them to what we need them to be. I run the 16 uh, mil in now. That will then feed straight to the earth block and that'll allow me to connect the earth from the previous install into this to then earth our installation. So we've got our essentials in and in place. Obviously stuff's gonna be going in afterwards. So now I really wanna work out my spacings between each socket how much of conduit I'm going to need between each bush and coupler. You could just put these flat and just tack them, but while we're going to do it, we're going to do it properly. Measure how much conduit I need between each one, cut our holes straight across, and then figure out our measurement across there as well. Now to get the sockets as close as we want, this bit's bought up to the socket, this is our insert length. So it's about 20 mil. So if we cut them all around about 40 mil, we're going to need one, two, three. We only going to need three 40 mils, and then one across here which we'll do at 40 mils as well. So if we do four 40 mils, these are the Nipex, these ones. Oh, bye. So now we've got our pressure couplers knotted on. I want to be going in this gap really. That's going to allow me to get a locking nut on in between there. Really. Here, and we'll smack bang in the centre here. These are the malleable boxes, so they do bend. They have got internal knockouts in them, but just not on the edges. Right, let's get this in. Let's get this done. And then from there, I can line that up onto the socket. For height wise, it's going to be a bit of a different height due to locking up button and that bottoming out. Right, so far, happy. So now we can take our knockouts from the top, across, put all, and put all of our uh, conduit ends together with our uh, spacers, bring them out and that'll give us the right distance we need and we can sort of all screw it down together at the end. So now that's on, I'll only, I've only got room for for three double sockets, but that's more than enough for what we need. Place that together. And really, we can start screwing this down. So as it stands now, that's what we've got. We have got ourselves three double sockets, earth block, Henley block. I've knocked the two knockouts as well to allow us to um, put some tails in from the original installation. Uh, we've tightened this up a little bit. I'll get some grips on it a little bit. But what we're going to do now is run some 4mm across and with the purpose of a 4mm it will allow us to have it on a 32 amp breaker rather than sticking a ring in on 2.5mm or sticking um, a 20 amp radial circuit in. A lot of the time if we're using sight sockets it's going to be for power tools, chargers, hoovers, chasers, all that sort of stuff. So the more we can get the better. Right, we're on the last leg now. Just got them on. Four mil is a bit more fun to play with. Obviously not being used to it. Just stripping it. It is cold in here to be fair. Right, that's in, that's done. Let's screw back. Let's see if the lid still goes on with me faffing around putting all this stuff in it. Right, that's that on. Let's get a label for the sockets here. Right, so we're all finished, on, see here, labelled it up, couple of nice sockets. So with that being done, what I would always recommend as well, because obviously if you're putting this into a new installation, an existing installation, and you're wiring in some new tails, Make sure you secure back the uh, 25mm tails, obviously going into the board, or if it's any other cable as well. 
Uh, and on top of that as well, I always recommend you do your few tests. Get some R1, R2s, get a Z, make sure the earth you've got is all traveling through. Test it like you would a normal fuse board. Um, and I would also say to do this on every single installation. So when you take this out and you go to the next rewire, make sure you test it to make sure nothing's changed in here or the, uh, the main earth is not is connected. Um, it might be there, but it might not be working. So double check with your measurements. Let me know if you do anything differently, uh, whether more sockets, less sockets, metal clad, a different type of board. Uh, but this gives us the basics of what we need to um, plug some lights in. Like I said before in the video we did at Sandbatch, uh, my biggest job yet, we bought them yellow LED um, sort of sight lights that we could just plug straight into this. We could have the batteries charging, we could have the hoover on, um, the vacuum, sorry, and uh, away you go. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know if there's anything else you want me to do and film over the Christmas period. And uh, everyone have a nice time off and I will see you in the new year at some point. Bye.